Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss scenario based interview question and answer part 53. But before jumping to the problem statement, I have request to all my viewers that if you really like my content, please do hit a like button. And if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing my channel so that you can get my future video updates. Thank you. Now let's come to the problem statement. This problem has been asked in Google in June 2021. So what it says, it says that write a SQL query to find the email activity rank for each user. Now let's try to understand what is email activity rank. It is defined by the total number of emails sent. The user with the highest number of emails sent will have a rank 1 and so on. We have to output three columns. First, the user column, second, total emails column, and third one is activity rank column. We have to order, order the records by total number of emails sent in descending order. Sort the users with the same number of emails in the alphabetical order. So, if we have the same number of uh, uh, emails sent, uh, if you see the row, uh, row number 1 and 2, then we will have to uh, sort it based on the user. In the alphabetical order. While displaying rankings, return unique ranks even if multiple users have the same number of emails. So even if the multiple uh, users have the same emails, we have to give a unique ranking. So this is the asked, uh, this question has been asked by Google and let's see our input table. Uh, we have the sample input table. Since there were around 300 plus records, I was not able to uh, incorporate all the input all the input records that's why I have given just sample uh, wherein we have the ID column and the user from user and to user column and the uh, days so this is the requirement let's see how we can solve this problem in SQL server I am going to solve this problem by using CTE that is common table expression. So before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So let me fire this, select star from table name. So this is our input table wherein we have four columns, ID column from user column and two user column and then number of days the email has been sent. And you can see that we have a lot of records around 315 records input records now first I'm going to list down what all things we have to derive so first I'm going to derive um, total email sent right so this is the requirement total emails second we have to derive um, activity rank right activity rank and third we have to sort the data now let's see how we can do this using CTE. So I'm going to start with with clause with CTE will give name as let's say activity rank. Activity rank as and then I'm going to open the bracket and then I'm going to write select star from table name is this one. And then I'm going to close the bracket. So now I'm going to replace a star with the column name. So which column I need? I need from user, from underscore user, and then comma. Now I have to get the count, right? So I'm going to use the count of one, and this will give as total of emails. And since I use count function, I will have to group group by from user. Let me run this piece of code and at least let's see the result. Now you see that we have 25 unique user and we have a corresponding total number of emails sent. So we were able to derive the first part that is total number of emails sent by each user. Now we have to drive activity rank. 
Now for that I'm going to use select select from user column comma we uh, I need uh, this column also total emails and then I'm going to derive another column let me use from this table and then I'm going to derive another column called activity rank for that I'm going to use a row underscore number row number function and then I'm going to use over clause and then here we have we have to use we will not be using partition by because we have already grouped uh, based on the user and we have got the total number of counts for the emails so I'm going to step uh, skip that partition by clause and then I'm simply going to order by order by total number of emails sent so we want the maximum number of emails sent should be on the top that user should be on the top so I'm going to give this sorry total emails in the descending order and if there are multiple users with the same number of emails sent then we have to sort based on the from user right so it should be in the descending order uh, sorry ascending order so we need not to mention ascending it will take by default as ascending now let's run this piece of code here you go you can see that the emails which are having the highest number that is on the top and having ranking 1 2 the unique ranking if you see the total emails where it is equal to 15 we have total 4 users right now you can see we have sorted it first the number is there 6 and then 7 and then uh, it is alphabets first then it is C and then it is E so we have sorted it so we were able to derive total emails column and then we were able to derive uh, activity rank column we, uh, we forgot to give activity rank underscore rank and we were able to sort that as well so that's all for this video if you have liked my video please do like it and do subscribe my channel if, if you have not done and if you know any other way by which you can solve this problem, please do write it in the comment section. Please don't forget. Thank you and thanks for watching.